In this Fluency Link tutorial video, we'll look at assessments from a student perspective. Assessments consist of sets of interactive exercises, such as the ones you'd see in your workbook. Some questions are automatically scored and others need to be scored by your teacher. When you are assigned an assessment, you'll get a notification on your student account here. You can click on a message to go directly to that assessment, or you can go to your assessment tab here. They are organized by due assessments, missed, submitted, and graded. Each tab has the option to sort by dates and titles. Due assessments are available assessments that can be completed now. The due date and assign date are shown at the bottom. You'll also see the total number of questions and a time limit if there is one. An assessment that is past the due date will be marked late. Your teacher may make an assessment completable even past the due date. However, if they don't, it will show up in the missed tab. Assessments here are past the due date and you can no longer attempt them. Assessments that you have submitted but are not fully graded will show up here. And assessments that are fully graded will show up here. Select an assessment to open it. Tests may have different settings that are decided by the teacher. For example, time limit or no time limit, ability to check answers during the assessment, ability to attempt a question multiple times, and ability to skip questions and return to them later. Click here to start an assessment. First, we'll look at some of the general settings of this assessment. On the left, you can see I can click on a question number to move to a different question. On the top right here, I can see that I have three attempts for the questions in this assessment. And here I can see the question is worth two points. This button here shows test rules or any message your teacher may want to communicate with you about this assessment. Questions may appear as standalone questions like this, or they may be broken up into sub-questions like this. This is an assessment with slightly different settings. First, it has a time limit, which you can see here. Once you click to start the assessment, the timer will start counting down. You can see the remaining time in the top right. This assessment does not allow multiple attempts, and it also does not allow you to jump to different parts of the assessment. So you must complete each question in order. Once you complete a question, click Save and Next. In this assessment, I can go back to questions that I've already completed. And when I'm finished, I'll click Submit. Next, we'll look at the different question types. Number one is an association question. You need to drag items from this list into the empty boxes according to the instructions. To remove an item, select this X or drag the box out back to the list. Since this assessment allows multiple attempts, I have a check answer button. After checking, you can see that my attempts remaining has decreased and I can try again. When finished with the question, use the arrows at the bottom to move to the next question. If a question has audio, you can play it, jump to different portions of the audio, adjust the volume, and adjust the playback speed. This type of question is single choice, so you select one of the answer options. This type of question is multiple choice, so you may select more than one answer option. This is an ordering question. You need to drag these boxes into the correct order according to the instructions. In a match the following question, you select boxes in a table according to the instructions. Fill in the blank question, click on a box to type your answer. In a drag and drop question, Drag the answer choices into the empty boxes. The drop down question, click on each box and select the appropriate answer choice. This descriptive question is for open ended writing. You may enter a response in this text box and format it using the tools provided. You may also attach a file from your computer up to five megabytes. This is an audio recording question. Click here to start recording. You may need to allow your browser access to your microphone. Click here to stop recording. 
click here to play back your recording. You can also click to jump to a specific part of the recording. Click here to go back to the beginning and click here to delete your recording. When you delete your recording, you may try recording again. Click here to submit your assessment. But before submitting, make sure that you've answered all of the questions. Your teacher may allow you to view a summary of the assessment at the end and also view your answers here. Here we can see the total number of questions as well as the breakdown of objective questions and subjective questions. Objective questions are ones that are automatically scored and subjective questions must be scored by your teacher. This percentage is an average score of all automatically scored questions for this assessment. Correct answer choices will be marked with a green check and an answer key may be shown at the bottom of the question. An incorrect answer choice is marked with a red X. For each question, you can see your score in the bottom right. The writing and speaking questions are still waiting to be graded by the teacher, so there is no score here yet. Thanks for watching.